Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm so excited to be doing a Christmassy video. I have waited so long to be able to make this. I've even put on my favourite red lipstick to get in the festive mood. As you may be able to tell from the title, this is my 12 hacks of Christmas video. See what I did there? But technically they're not all hacks. Some of them are like sweet treat recipes or craft ideas that you can either do with your kids or for yourself. So I've just put together 12 ideas that I've either come up with myself or found on Pinterest that I really loved and I'm so pleased with how they've all turned out. Like I'm quite proud of myself. <laughs> and now that I've tested all of these out as well I can give you tips on what to do and what not to do because some of them did go a little wrong. I'm so thrilled to be working with Plenty again on this video. Um, so you will see a couple of hacks in there that use their kitchen roll or even the actual rolls inside. So yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into it because I'm aware getting through 12 hacks could take a while. So, here we go. The first one is really, really simple. It is a decorative bauble ornament that you can make to display in your house around Christmas that can go with your colour scheme and look really, really festive. There is a way to um, make it a little bit more thrifty and you don't have to use quite as many baubles. So either use a vase that you already have or if you don't have one that you think is large enough then I really recommend TK Maxx because their glassware is really really inexpensive. Pick out some baubles that, ma that match your colour scheme. I got these from Asda for only £5 and I actually bought two boxes because I didn't think one would be enough but if you use this little hack then one is enough for this huge vase. Just pop an empty kitchen roll tube in the middle and this just packs out the vase a little bit so you only need to put the baubles around the outside. Now if you had a huge vase you could maybe put two or three in the middle and I thought I would need to but I only needed one and for the amount of baubles that I had in this box it was absolutely perfect. Now you can leave it there, I think it looks really nice displayed on a shelf and you can add lights to it as well or because you have the tube in the centre you can add some really pretty um, beaded I don't know really what you'd call them, like beaded foliage. I have these for our Christmas tree, but I got a couple more for this display. I've put three in the top and I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. My second hack is definitely one for the kids, either for you to make yourself for them or if they're a little bit older, maybe for them to join in. I just took the empty roll out of the Plenty kitchen towel and cut it in half. Um, so that way I was able to make two little Christmas characters. Um, I decided to make a gingerbread man and a reindeer. All I did was picked up some coloured card in light brown, dark brown and red that I needed and some other little accessories like um, googly eyes. For this you just want to cut out your shapes, which I'm doing here, the long arms and legs and then you fold them into a concertina shape and then they make the arms and legs and it's really cute because then they can hang off shelves and just sit on the edge and they look really really sweet. I love the gingerbread man, he's so adorable and I've just stuck some buttons and a bow tie on him. Um, and for the reindeer, just some little antlers and a big red nose and even though this is obviously Rudolph, I've made her into Rudolphina, she's a girl, um, she has a bow. And this worked out perfectly because I didn't have anything to do with Buddy, the elf on the shelf for that evening. So I just sat them next to Buddy um, and that was my little elf on the shelf idea. He woke up in the morning and he had two new little friends with Buddy. Um, so it could be a really cute elf on the shelf idea as well. Really cheap, really inexpensive and fun to either make with your kids or on your own as well. Next is a little recipe. I didn't know how this was going to go because I had never made it before um, but they turned out amazing and I think they almost look professional. Professional for me anyway. So they are white chocolate rocky road bars. I'm going to leave all of the recipe and measurements in the description below so that it's just easy for you to go and find. But I will tell you just quickly that you will need white chocolate, uh, mini marshmallows, um, dried apples if you can get them, I couldn't find them, so I used sweetened um, dried cranberries and then I also used freeze dried strawberries and raspberries and uh, like I said I'll put all of the amounts below. So it's so simple, you don't even have to cook it or bake it or anything, you just line a tin with um, tin foil and butter and then you melt your chocolate, I just melted it in the microwave, then I added the marshmallows and all of the dried fruit into the bowl, mix it together 
and added that to the pan and just flattened it out. Now you want to leave some of the freeze dried straws, strawberries, raspberries and cranberries until the end because this is what makes the top look so good and professional in my opinion. Sprinkle them all over the top. Um, and then put it in the fridge to set. Once it's finished, you can take it out. Now, I made mine in a round tin because it was the only thing I had small enough, um, but it was actually really easy to cut into bars. I got four really huge bars out of it. You could make loads of squares, and then all of the offcuts on the edges, just eat them yourself. Um, but these would make lovely little gifts or um, just treats if you're having guests around or going to somebody's um, house for this Christmas. So I am so pleased with how these turned out. They are delicious as well. So hack number four is so simple but really, really effective and I can't believe I'd never thought of it before. Um, they are scent sticks and basically if you have a fake Christmas tree, which we do because we have a little one, so it's just easier to have an artificial tree. If you want it to smell like an authentic tree, then you can buy these scent sticks. Now ours are actually spiced orange, which isn't what a tree smells like, um, but I just preferred that scent. We found ours in the range for $5.99 and you get six of them for that. You can pr pretty much get them in any garden centre as well or online. Um, and all you do is you put the little hook in them, they come with a hole in the top, and you just hang them discreetly in your tree, like kind of inside. Um, and you only need a couple and it they let out like this incredible scent that fills up your whole house, you don't need to use them all at once, maybe just add one in a week as the smell fades all over Christmas and you'll have a beautiful smelling house of either Christmas tree pine or spiced orange berries, whatever you can find, I highly recommend them, I think they are amazing and such a good idea. Hack number five is another kids craft and one that I think Archie would absolutely love again because it allows you to get messy is a paper mache snowman. So all I did was I took a bottle, this is a milkshake bottle that I thought had kind of like a snowman body type shape. I scrunched up some plenty and stuck that on the top to make the head and just sellotape that down. And then I cut up lots of strips of the plenty kitchen towel um, and then I just mixed some uh, PVA glue with a bit of water just to make it into more of a paste. And then I just went crazy kind of um, paper macheing the snowman. Depending on when you make it, you'll probably need to leave it to dry overnight. And then when you wake up in the morning, it will be solid. So. As you've used the kitchen towel instead of newspaper or something like that, it's already white. You don't have to paint it, but obviously you can if you want it to have an even more of a uniform look. And if you do paint it, then you can go ahead and um, paint on the little eyes, put on a little nose, buttons. You can add a scarf with felt and a little hat if you have any, like maybe doll or elf on the shelf accessories hanging about. Um, and then you can even put, put in little stick arms by either sticking it into the um, kitchen towel when it's still wet or you can make holes in the side and stick in little sticks. Um, really the possibilities of how you can dress them up and things is endless and again kids, especially slightly older, maybe five, six, would love doing this craft. It's really easy, really inexpensive and really fun. Hack number six is one of my favourites, it's kind of a Pinterest Christmas classic. It is making a hot chocolate gift for somebody. It's really simple to do, you just need to get either a mason jar or like a mason cup with the handle on, but it does need to have a lid for obvious reasons. If you're taking it to somebody to give it to someone, it needs to all be sealed in. So all you're going to need for this is some cocoa powder, some chocolate chips, they're optional, some marshmallows, um, and also optional are some sprinkles for the top and some candy canes as well. And you'll also need some kind of twine and ribbon and a tag to put the, the directions um, and maybe a little note, things like that. Just start to layer up the glass with the cocoa first, then the chocolate chips. I use milk chocolate and white chocolate, then the marshmallows. Then I sprinkled on some chocolate sprinkles just for good measure, screwed on the lid, tied on a little white bow and then some baker's twine with a note that gave instructions of how to use it. I have enough in this mug for three um, hot chocolates because just one w wouldn't have filled up the glass so make sure you explain how many there are in the glass. Um, and I just think that makes a really beautiful inexpensive gift that you can make for all your friends or work colleagues and I love it. 
Hack number seven is to make a Christmas scrapbook. Now this is something we've been planning for ages, you might have seen it in one of my recent vlogs. We found this beautiful Christmas scrapbook in Hobbycraft for just four pounds and we decided to buy some um, washi tape and um, Christmassy like stickers and appliques and just lots of things for it and uh, Christmas backing paper and things. And every day we stick in fo Polaroid photos um, of what Archie has done that day or what we've done as a family. Sometimes we put in dried leaves that he's collected on a walk or he found a penny so we stuck that in. Um, and just things like that, if you go and see a show you can put tickets in or a, a leaflet from a day out. Just You can pack it with so many different things um, and write about what your child did that day. And we don't go out and do really fun things every day. Some days are more at home days. So maybe they could do a drawing and you could stick that in. Um, say what your elf on the shelf's been up to if you have one. There's, there's loads of ideas for it and it's just a really lovely memento to have to look back it on in the future and it's something tangible that you can hold in your hands straight away and it's not always computer based like a lot of our photos are these days. Oh, the next one is good. This was the first time I tried this and I would definitely be doing it again. Slow cooker hot chocolate. Um, it's very, very indulgent, but it tastes incredible. Again, I will put the amounts of everything you need listed below because it's just easier. You'll need some cocoa, milk, single cream, and optional is a dollop of Nutella. I say optional, I think it's necessary. <laughs> You just go ahead and you chuck all of this into your slow cooker at home, give it a good mix around and put it on low and it needs to be on for about two hours so if you have guests coming over um, make sure you do it ahead of time. Then it's really nice to just lay everything out around it like make a little um, hot chocolate slow cooker station so like just lay out some cups maybe some straws, some candy canes, some sprinkles, marshmallows, a ladle um, and have it all ready and your guests will be so excited to try it. I had a few people try this when I made it and they said it's the best hot chocolate they've ever had. So definitely give this one a go if you're a chocolate fan. Pack number eight is something that we've done for about three years now and I really love making these. They're a little Christmas scene in a vase. So I used the same vase for this that I did for the baubles so if you want to do both then you'd have to use two fairly large vases but I usually use a much smaller vase than this but I love that this has a flat base so you want to fill it up with flour. This one is huge so I just used a load of old flour I had at the back of my cupboard that's actually gone out of date so it wasn't usable anyway. So you want to put all of that into the bottom until it's maybe one third of the way full and then you can add your Christmassy decorations. So we've had the little trees for a few years since I started doing these. I believe I got them online. I'll try and put a link below to where you can get them from. I found the really cute post box and telephone box in Asda. They're actually tree decorations that I cut the ribbons off. Um, they were only £2 each. The little Santas I think were from Sainsbury's and I also stole some of Archie's little woodland creatures from his room um, because I thought they'd look really cute. So anything you can find, children's toys, cars that would look nice in the scene, just put it in. I also put some candy canes in to make it a little bit more like the candy cane forest. Um, I really love doing these and they look beautiful up on your kitchen windowsill or just somewhere out of reach because you don't want that going everywhere, that's for sure. Hack number nine, place settings. So we're having everyone here for Christmas this year um, and I had a little practice of how I want the table to look. We're going for a white and gold theme but for the place settings I decided to go simple but effective. So I got these little pine cones, they were in a pack of 12 from Sainsbury's, they're also tree decorations but if you can find them outside then that's a lot more thrifty and free. I got some gift tags, cut the end off where the little hole in the ribbon is um, and then wrote our names on them and you can just really easily stick them into the pine cones and they make really cute place settings. I also put little woodland creatures with them as well because I thought that worked well with the, the theme. Um, obviously you don't have to do that but you could put a little chocolate there or something. I just think it's a really nice idea um, just to make your table look that little bit more special on Christmas day. I've probably been saying all my hacks in the wrong order but I'm pretty sure this is hack number 11. It's my last sweet treats one and it's a good one. 
they are strawberry Santas. This actually uses vanilla frosting because I've tried it with whipped cream um, or squirty cream and it just kind of dissolves very, very quickly. All you need to do is just wash the strawberries and make sure they're dried completely off, cut off the green stem and then maybe two thirds up cut it so you end up with a little Santa's body and a Santa's hat. Now I cheated and bought a really easy simple jar of um, can of vanilla frosting which has little nozzles that come with it. You just basically squirt on the little Santa's beard then you stick the um, strawberry top back on and put on a little white bubble for his hat. Then you can either use black icing for his eyes. I actually had some tiny chocolate sprinkles, so I just stuck those on. That's quite simple to do as well. And then you can make as many as you like. You can have a little Santa army, um, and they just taste delicious as well. But definitely don't use squirty cream. It doesn't last long at all. And finally, hack number 12. It couldn't be a Christmas hacks video without including something to do with wrapping up presents. Now, I love to make gifts look really really special so I generally get craft paper and do some really nice ribbons and little decorations attached and tags and things. This time I wanted to try printing my own wrapping paper. Obviously this is a bit time consuming, not everyone has time to do this. Um, I found these really cute stamps at Hobbycraft and I was going to stamp snowflakes and trees and stars on but I very quickly realised this wasn't going to work and these stamps needed to be done with like a, an ink stamp set um, so you can see that that didn't work at all. The actual original idea that I saw on Pinterest used paint splatters which I actually think worked out so much better. I tried doing polka dots, little stars, loads of things um, but if you just take your paintbrush and put it in some white paint and then just flick it all over the paper it creates this beautiful real looking snowy effect um, so much better than anything I could have hand painted and so much quicker but quite messy so make sure you do it in, in the kitchen or on some newspaper wait for that to dry and then you can just go to town wrapping all your presents beautifully tying on maybe some baker's twine and I used some faux mistletoe you could even use real foliage I just used faux um, mistletoe so I know that it's not going to die add a tag, add the person's name and you have an absolutely beautiful gift that someone is just going to feel so special receiving this Christmas. So that's it, I really hope you enjoyed my hacks, let me know which was your favourite down below in the comments or if you're going to be trying any of them. Don't forget to head over to Plenty's Facebook page because they are running a competition at the moment so go and enter that. I will leave the link in the description box below and I will see you all very soon. Bye guys!